Well, Doug, we know the number of cases are on the rise, both in Kentucky and Indiana, but right now only Kentucky is requiring masks in public places. Here's a look at Indiana numbers. You can see the high for the Hoosier state is still back in April or May, but after this weekend, the state is creeping up with a steep incline, reporting almost 800 new cases on Friday of last week. That's close to the all time high of 946 back in April. And in Kentucky, it's a similar story. Kentucky is seeing some of the highest numbers to date and state officials say they're worried, which is why they put the mask mandate in place last week. So tonight we're turning to research to find out how or if the new mask mandate could make a difference. A recent study published by the Health Affairs looked at 15 states and compared the COVID-19 growth rate before and after mask requirements were put in place. According to the study, the mask requirements did slow down the daily COVID-19 rate. Three weeks into the mandate, state stock cases go down by about 2%. It's further proof of what health officials have been preaching since March, that even basic cloth coverings can be effective. Even simple cloth material can significantly reduce the volume of COVID particle spread. But here's the question. Will we see that kind of change in the cases here in Kentucky because of the mask mandate? According to experts, it's hard to say. Without most of the population or almost all of the population participating in that mask mandate, we never may even know if it's helping or how it's helping. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.